Good morning everyone, I'm Shane Shacha here with another health supplement tip for the day. So as you see from the title, um, vitamin C and getting fat can go hand in hand. And I don't mean vitamin C will make you fat, I mean not enough vitamin C could be leading you to get fat or to uh, basically not lose weight as well as you should. So why is this? Well, in your body, when you take vitamin C in, what happens is your adrenal glands hold on to a lot of vitamin C. So when you're stressed out, your body or your adrenal glands are going to use vitamin C and help to release cortisol. So cortisol is basically something that when you're stressed out, it's going to... Um, help you use your carbs and stuff like that for a quick boost of energy. It's the whole fight, flight or, fight or flight theory. Um, I'm sure you've heard it a million times, if not just Google uh, <laughs> fight or flight. So, okay. So, um, adrenal glands holding a lot of vitamin C, it gets used up when you are stressed. So under uh, everyday kind of normal stresses that you have, you kind of have excess stress, you will release cortisol, which is kind of good in, in some, some amounts. But we often tend to have a little bit more stress in our lives. Now, even environmental stress, um, you're outside, people are smoking, that type of thing, that's a stressor. You're around a lot of vehicles, that's a lot of stressor. Uh, computer, computers, your phone, your iPad, everything, it's stressing you out. So you have all these stressors now that you probably didn't deal with as much 10 years ago. So you have a lot of little extra stressors, which could be leading to excess uh, release of cortisol. So with that said, when you have too much cortisol in your system, what happens is generally your blood sugar levels off, your immune system is off, um, the cortisol is blocking how well your thyroid is working and you could kind of be at a standstill when it comes to losing weight. Now another thing with vitamin C is if you've ever heard of adrenal fatigue, it's kind of where you're tired all the time, you're just stressed and it's you wake up in the morning and you're still tired but you didn't sleep well at night, it's just, or you wake up between two and four and you can't sleep. There's so many symptoms of adrenal fatigue, just kind of look those symptoms up. Um, maybe I'll even add them to the comments below if I remember. But what happens is when you have adrenal fatigue and you don't have enough vitamin C in your, in your adrenal glands because they've been working overtime, what happens is it kind of does the same thing as when you have vitamin C, it will start to release cortisol in your system. Because I, I, I'm not really sure why and how it does it, but when you run out of vitamin C and you are stressed and the adrenals are fatigued, you will release excess cortisol. Again, like what I said earlier, um, is blocking the thyroid and it's screwing up with your blood sugar level and messing your immune system, all that type of thing. So always kind of make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Now I, I know a lot of you may be taking vitamin C in cold and flu season, which is good to take during cold and flu season, but a lot of you um, had another video on this where I mentioned if you get a cold, don't, taking vitamin C during the cold isn't really going to do anything because your vitamin C, it's going to take a couple of weeks before it does anything and your cold is generally going to be under seven days anyway. So um, it's that type of thing. So uh, taking vitamin C, um, this is the one I like to use, Natural Factors Bio C Gel. Now I like them because they're in a soft gel. I'll show you what they look like. That is one of their vitamin C, so it's liquid on the inside. Now they look big at first when you look at them, but the good thing with these is soft gels have a coating. It's just the way the shape, you, they don't really get stuck in your throat. They can't take you with water. They go right down. It's not like a big hard tablet. Those don't have like that coating and they kind of get stuck in your throat. So Bio C Gel by Natural Factors, I don't know, I like it, and it has a berry blend in it, so you get extra antioxidants, and you also get the extra bioflavonoids to help absorb your vitamin C. That's another thing too. If you're gonna take vitamin C, always make sure it has bioflavonoids 
for better absorption. So what was I getting at? Um, okay, so yeah, so a lot of people take it during cold and flu season, so it's a great antioxidant and it keeps your immune system up. So antioxidant, of course, is protecting your body against all kinds of stresses, which lead to disease, premature aging, and that type of thing. Another thing that vitamin C is very good for is heart health, uh, because it's very good in uh, the formation of collagen, and arteries are, you know, there's collagen there. So if you don't have enough vitamin C in your system, um, the collagen, like your body can't reproduce collagen to repair damaged arteries, so we'll use uh, cholesterol which can sometimes block up the arteries, that type of thing. So there's actually a great formula, I've made a video on it, called MediC Plus, where it's vitamin C and lysine, and that helps to, you know, um, clear out the arteries, that type of thing, and fix the arteries up. So, um, I know I'm all over the place with this video. What's new, it's a one take. So, yeah. So, um, but yeah, if you have a hard time losing weight, Again, I talk about uh, stress products all the time, like Viva, that type of thing for your adrenals. But make sure you're always taking vitamin C. Now, how much vitamin C should you take? I'm not going to lie. I take low doses. I take 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day. And I think that's fine for anybody that's just kind of wanting to stay healthy. Now, a lot of people will take the higher doses, so 1,000 milligrams, um, you know, two to five times a day. I would say that's more a therapeutic dose. So if you're treating something, let's say you do have adrenal fatigue, um, maybe try two to 5,000 milligrams per day, uh, you know, to, to get those adrenals back healthy, feed them full of vitamin C, that type of thing. Um, and you wanna make sure you're only taking a thousand milligrams once every three to four hours. Um, and the reason you want to do that is if you take up to like 2,000 milligrams, you could get diarrhea and that is not fun, let me tell you. So <laughs> yeah, vitamin C, go out, get some, especially if you deal with a lot of stress. If you're trying to lose weight, you want healthier collagen in your body, you want to stay healthy during cold and flu season, um, yeah, get some vitamin C. And remember, don't take the vitamin C at the first signs of getting sick, take it before you get sick and all throughout when you're sick. And that's how you use vitamin C. If you have any questions, email me at shanespiltalk at uh, yahoo.com. I'll leave that in the comments below. Leave me comments below. And I'd like you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And give this video a thumbs up. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. And I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.